Hi everyone and welcome to day two. It's Tuesday at the World Carp Classic and as you can see we're on a very wet and blustery uh, Lac de Medine. Um, the weather certainly has taken a turn for the worse but it's perfect for the anglers and the fish are starting to show. In fact Nick the cameraman was up early this morning he was down with uh, Italian anglers uh, Riccardo and Danny, Daniele uh, fishing the sauce and uh, they got their first fish, the biggest fish of the tournament so far. Let's have a look at it now. Good morning everyone, welcome to the first full day of the World Cup Classic 2015. I'm in a very wet and windy swim number one with Dynamite Pair, Daniele and Ricardo. Um, as you've already seen from the footage just before this interview, they've already had an incredible common of over 40 English pounds, um, a really stunning fish. Um, they're in, as I say, swim number one, one of the swims that a lot of people were looking to get and uh, these guys have got off to a great start. So welcome guys, well done for the, the first fish of the competition and obviously the biggest fish of the competition so far as well. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Was it a, a really good battle? What time today did you have the fish? Um, just tell me a little bit about what happened when you had the fish. It was at 2 o'clock in, in this night, of the last night, and we had this big common, which was the biggest fish at the moment. The first fish, and the first fish for us. So. It's, uh, we are really happy because you know it's uh, the first fish and it's also bigger. So yeah. the pressure is uh... the pressure is lower now, but not all because no. we have to be concentrated for the week. We don't know, cannot lose nothing. You know, uh, Daniele was fighting in the in the water the last night. We were also tired. We were sleeping all uh, really depth as we Because you've had a long journey to get, yes, here. To get everything here. Then all the events and the work you've done leading up to it. It's not just turn up and fish, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. of work for everything and uh, also the, the trip before. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, power for uh, for do everything. Yeah. And uh, he was doing the, the fighting. Uh, Come era il combattimento, Daniele? Combattimento è un pesce non pensavo così potente. Eh, alle 2 di mattina dopo un lungo viaggio per arrivare qui sono molto contento. Brilliant. So a real positive battle, a really hard battle. Luckily you got it out of the weed because I know there's a fair bit of weed in front of you. Yes. Shallower water, lots of weed. It takes a lot of energy to uh, to go and battle the fish out in the boat and get it in. But what a great start. We're going to have a little look later on in the week at your rigs and bait because I know you're doing things a little bit different to everybody else. Um, so that's definitely something for uh, for people to check out at the end of the week. Um, we won't bring it to you now, just in case uh, just in case other people see the video. Um, but yeah, great start for the guys. A beautiful swim. The weather's perfect, and hopefully we'll see them again soon. Cheers, guys. Hi everyone again. So uh, as you can see, this weather's getting worse. So apologise for the sound if you hopefully can hear me. Um, whilst Nick was down filming this morning, he also caught up with uh, Lizette and Bianca fishing for dynamite in Shimano. Uh, and Shimano. And let's take a look at the fish that they've got on the leaderboard, which puts them in second place. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first full morning of fishing. Uh, the competition started yesterday, late afternoon, two o'clock. Um, I'm with Lizette and Bianca on a, a, rainy, uh, a rainy morning, but it's a good morning because we've already got one. Yeah, it's a very good morning for us. We are very happy yeah. because uh, we had uh, at 6.30 uh, a big uh, run and we caught a, a nice uh, mirror yep. uh, from 11.7 kilos. So, okay, yeah, so a great yeah, start great so start, early. Yeah. Because obviously with Bolsina, a lot more fish, but maybe not so big. But here, to get a fish so early on in the competition must be a real relief. Yeah, that's First very... fish is always important yes. for yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> Just settles the nerves. You know you're doing it right. The rigs yeah. work, the bait's fine. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so, so tell me a little bit about your swim. So you're in swim number nine? Yes, swim number nine. As you can see, we have a lot of water in front. And we have a nice wood behind. So yep. uh, we have a perfect place uh, to, uh, to stay. Uh, there's a lot of weed inside, 
uh, but we have some spots. Is it quite deep in front of you, or is this a shallow area? Or? Mm, not so deep, but... Different uh, sizes, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. So you've got different changes yeah, in depth? different changes and different kind of underground. So are you fishing a long way out, or have you just found different spots and all four, four rods are different, or have you put all your all your rods in one area, or are you not going to tell me? No, <laughs> no, 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 not yet. <laughs> After the competition. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand, I understand. <laughs> Bait-wise, I'm not. I'm, maybe you won't tell me the exact bait, but... Is it boily at least, or are you tiger nuts, or again, are you, it's a you spread about? We always make a combination, yep. because you don't only eat uh, meat for, for dinner all day, so no, it's I, a combination. Okay, yeah. cool. And that's where the great sortie from uh, Dynamite comes in, because they have everything. Yeah, so you've so got a bit of particle, a yeah, bit of yeah. tiger nuts, yes. boilies, etc. Yes, okay, best. great. Well, well done. That's a brilliant start. The team further down, again, Dynamite Shimano, have had the biggest fish in the first fish. You've had the second yeah. fish of the tournament. Perfect. Um, so we're, you guys are in a really strong position. So well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got. You filming, you filming. I got. <laughs> guys, we're going to bring you a product focus, but right now we're going to have to move out of the rain because it's getting torrential and uh, we don't want to ruin the camera. So let's run. Go. <laughs> Hi everyone again. Well, we made it back from the rain, um, and we're actually seek shelter in the, in the cafe at the side of the, the side of the lake. So we're going to do a product focus in here because uh, it's just not good enough to go outside. So uh, at least we can get the video finished. Um, so today's product focus is uh, about two classic boilies from the Dynamite range. In fact, one of them was the first bag of boilies that I ever purchased myself. Uh, and that was the uh, spicy shrimp and prawn. Uh, we've been asked now for, for a good few years to bring these products back. And uh, we've decided to finally do that. And they'll form part of a a dynamite classic range. The second boilie is a uh, the higher track um, squid and octopus boilie and uh, this is again one of everyone's all-time favorites all around Europe and in the UK. Um, there's no difference to the boilies, they're the exact same recipe as they used to be so nothing's been changed, we just bought them back in new bags with a really snazzy Velcro reseal uh, bag so they'll keep the boilies fresher for longer. So yeah check them out, they'll be in the shops from uh, spring in the UK and in October in Europe. So if you want to keep them in the range, make sure you go out and buy some. See you soon. Right, we're just on the way to Peg 23, there's a fish on. Uh, we're just about to finish editing the video, but we decided to come and catch this for you, and we'll add this to the video, so you'll see it all later. Uh, as you can see, the weather is absolutely amazing now, literally half an hour after being caught out in the rain. Just look at it, beautiful sunshine. It's Peg 23, and uh, it was a run for nothing, because they've just got the fish in the boat, and unfortunately it's a pike, so, uh, don't know what it was caught on yet, but uh, it just look at the sunshine now, unbelievable. <laughs> 